Hello, made it. Good morning, happy Saturday. Thank you so much for jumping on. I'm going to let some folks kind of jump on. I know I was a little delayed because of technology this morning, but we're here, so awesome. Let me gloss up. Today I'm using Hottie, which is a lip plumper. I'm using just a clear version. Super pretty. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Hey, thanks for jumping on. Hello, hello. All right, well, good morning. I'm Lisa. I am here in the Camp Kailua Bake Shop. If you are joining me, please say hello. Let me know that you're here. It doesn't always say in uh, the on the screen for me who has joined, so just say hello. Let me know that you're here. If you're watching the replay, you can let me know that you're watching the replay too. I am coming to you live today from the Camp Kailua Bake Shop, aka my kitchen. <laughs> I am just so happy to be with you guys today. Holiday season, right? It's upon us, and... We just had Thanksgiving. I hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and, you know, got significantly stuffed. I I really didn't think I was gonna be able to move uh, for a few days, but I'm okay now. I don't know about you, but I kind of over made desserts. So it was just the two of us, but I got a little crazy. I made too much. Can you have too much dessert? Is that a thing? I don't know, I don't think so. I made too much for us to eat that day, let's say that. So, I got to thinking, what can we do with all of these leftover desserts? So, a couple of things. The, or, well, the one that I'm gonna show you today is kind of, um, what can we call it? Like a holiday redo, really, holiday dessert redo. So, we're going to take holiday treats, really any treat. Doesn't have to be just around the holidays. And we're going to take these leftovers and turn them into something else. Pretty good idea, right? I knew you'd like that. So I am going to use, I have this whole pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna use that today. You can use whatever you've got Chocolate pie would be great. Apple, cherry. You can even use cake for this. Cookies, whatevs. Any kind of leftover dessert that you'd like to turn into something else, you can use for this. And you know what else? You can even monster mash it up and do like two things. Might be pretty good if you had like, um, I don't know, chocolate cake and cherry pie. Just thinking, just a thinking. So in addition to your dessert, you're going to need some whipped cream. So I made this last night. Let's see if it's still, ah, it still looks, still looks good. I've got my whisk candy just in case. And since I'm using pumpkin, I'm also going to use some cinnamon. You can use, um, you know, if you're doing like a fruit pie, you might want to use a nice sanding sugar or even some like glittery sprinkles would be would be kind of fun on the top. Um, so this is, like I said, this is super duper easy and you're going to look like a dessert hero. All right, you're also going to need some glasses. So I am just using these shorty wine glasses. Yep, they have cute writing on them, but I'm gonna just pretend that they don't. And I'm gonna use these for my holiday dessert redos. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got a couple spoons. I'm gonna just scoop a little bit of this pumpkin pie out of the crust. That, here's the great part. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just dropped a little bit on the counter. Guess what, that's going in there too. That's the great thing about wiping down your counters with anti-back before you bake or make anything like this. So I'm just gonna kind of loosen it up a little bit in the glass here. So it kind of, you see how it kind of covers? And you know what, here's the deal. No rules. 
no rules at all with this yumminess. So I'm gonna say that that's probably, I'm gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna say that that's probably good for the first layer. Here's where the magic comes in. Just a little whipped cream. Maybe a little more. It's gonna be fabulous. Fabulous. If you're gonna eat them right away, you could also break off a little bit of the crust and kind of crumble that in there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat them right away, so I'm gonna hold off on that and I'm gonna put a little bit on the top for a little added fun. Sometimes it's nice to have a little crunch, a little bit of crunch in there. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep layering a little more. A little more and you know what it's totally okay like I see I got a little bit of the crust in there no worries nobody's gonna be mad about that all right a little more there we go look how pretty that looks well not that part not pretty now I'm gonna do a little bit more whip and if you wanted to, you could totally put this in like a piping bag and pipe it in and make it look even prettier. But I'm, I'm not doing that today. A little bit more of the pumpkin. Oh, I got a lot of crust on that one. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna be good. I Not a ton there on the top, that's okay. Now I'm gonna break off some of this crust and just crumble it on the top. Maybe a little bit more. And like I said, you could, if you're gonna eat them right away, layer that crust in there because it'll be nice and crunchy, um, little crispy bites, but if you're not going to use it right away, it's going to be soft. And then I'm going to do a little bit more whipped cream on top. Smoothing it off. Look at that. Wow, that looks so good. I'm just going to set that in there. I'm going to take my cinnamon. Just go a little bit on the top, make it look pretty. If it comes, there we go. And again, if you wanted more cinnamon, you can layer it in all throughout. I just know that I've got a lot of cinnamon in this pie, so I think I'm good there. I'm gonna also add just a little bit more crust on the very top. If I had a chocolate pie in there, I might do some chocolate shavings. Really, really good. Look how pretty. Isn't that awesome? Let's build the other one. Let's build the other one. I will tell you while we are building this, <clears throat> I, um, I kind of fancy up my whipped cream a little bit. I add vanilla. Of course, if you've watched me before, you're like, oh, of course she did. She loves vanilla. I do. So it's just one of those flavors that I will use every chance I get. What I learned was when you add vanilla to whipped cream, you can call it cream chantilly or chantilly cream. So it sounds super fancy. So if you do that, you can tell people that you made a you're serving your pumpkin pie with a Chantilly cream. Oh, fancy. <laughs> super duper. All right, super easy, super fun way to kind of repurpose your desserts. And why not, right? 
I'm gonna do one more layer of pumpkin on this one. You can tell it's taking a lot of the pumpkin too. I mean, for one thing, these are kind of big glasses. How fun would it be to do these like in shot glasses? Little mini, little mini desserts. All right, a little bit more whipped cream. This one's not quite as pretty. I kind of got crazy filling it. A little crust. A little for me. A little more cinnamon on top. You know what else might be good on top? A little nutmeg. Any spices that you used or seasonings or whatever would be really good. So kind of two looks. I have one that I smoothed the top and I have another one that I kind of rounded the top. Whatever works, right? You can, that's the great thing about this. You can do whatever you want to. So that is holiday dessert redo oh i don't know i guess these are now parfaits so reuse those desserts snap a picture let me know how they turn out tag me in it have fun and guys i will see you next week as always if you have any ideas things that you'd like us to bake together message me, drop me a comment, let me know. I'm happy to add new ideas to the bake calendar. And you know, if you'd like to sponsor a bake, we can work that out as well. And if you have any questions, just reach out and um, let me know. I'm happy to help you out with your baking. All right, y'all, thanks so much for jumping on and for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday and we'll see you next week. Thanks.